It features all the amenities of the local Y or private fitness center. Uh, ready? Yeah. One. Weights, treadmills, ellipticals, and so much more. And it's right in the middle of the University of Detroit Mercy campus. It's a great building, so you know it just shows you know the steps that we're taking into the future. The 40,000 square foot fitness center is the university's first new building in 42 years. In the first few months since its opening, it has become a centerpiece of campus and a popular gathering spot for students. It's also a great facility um, from the fitness center that we had before uh, with the track and the gymnasium. You know, students can really get out and sort of work on their fitness now. And I know there's Zumba, um, you know, core classes, um, some cardio, I believe. And I've got a lot of friends that play in the intramural uh, down in basketball and volleyball. So it really does become a social scene. That's exactly what University President Antoine Garibaldi hoped the new facility would achieve. This is really the trend. Um, you cannot have a university campus unless you really have a recreation center because students expect it. Um, and I'm saying students, not just the traditional age students, but graduate students and professional students. It really is a hub of activity, and that's really what we want it to be for the future. Phase two of the project calls for the addition of a natatorium for use by students, faculty, and staff. We want more students to live on campus so that they don't have to commute. And by having an additional facility, we've made investments not only in the student fitness center, but also in our dining hall, so that students have more food options, they have healthy food options, as well as a place for them to really stay around. Next, the university plans to address housing here on campus. They want to provide new and additional options for students to live here. In Detroit, Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News.